Hi there, my name is Cheryl Ayat. I am the author of Thinking and Playing Music, Intentional Strategies for Optimal Practice and Performance, and I am here today to talk about scaffolding. Um, this is a really helpful practice strategy um, for a variety of problems. Sometimes it's really helpful to find the underlying harmonic structure of, of something that might be a little bit ornate or disjunct or confusing. But it's also really helpful for practicing things um, that have complicated rhythms because it provides a, a metric structure, a, a structure of the pulse before you put the complex rhythms above it. So you can see in the corner here, I have an excerpt from the second movement of Haydn's Sonata Hoboken 50. Um, this is a lovely, lovely work, but poses a lot of rhythmic difficulty for some students. So here's a good example of, of how we can use scaffolding to help us practice to solve those problems. So we would start by, by practicing just what is on the beat. we can practice what is just on the beats and ands. And I forgot to advance my example here. So here was the beats only excerpt. And now I will play beats and ands. One, two, three. very well-established metric and pulse structure, and then all of these complicated rhythms will fit within that with much more ease. Thanks for watching.